Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jenna. I'm with Commute Seattle. Today I'm going to be doing a quick overview of the Tableau CTR Performance Dashboard. Let's go ahead and get started. Click on the link to open the landing page and paste in your password in the CTR access code, ensuring there are no spaces afterwards. You should see two icons populate for the Performance Dashboard and the Network Scorecard. Some accounts that are new to the program or haven't completed a CTR requirement may only see one icon populate on the landing page. To get started, click on one of the icons to navigate to the individual pages in the workbook. In the performance dashboard, you'll see the drive alone rate, network goal, and response rate from your previous CTR survey years. In the heat map below, hover over the individual zip codes to see the number of respondents in the mode split. The darker colors of blue on the heat map indicate the higher concentrations of respondents to the CTR survey. Zooming in and concentrating on certain zip codes, you can find hotspots where employees are commuting from and the modes they're taking. Click on any individual zip code to isolate it, and then just click out anywhere on the map to undo the highlight. Adjacent to the heat map, you'll find the survey year filter. You can use this filter to toggle between different years of CTR surveys and viewed drive alone rates, network goals, and response rates for different years. You'll notice that the heat map also changes to reflect the different years of CTR data. Scrolling down from the heat map, you can also view the aggregate mode split for each individual worksite. Hover over the individual bars to see which modes are included for other, rideshare, transit, bike, or walk. Finally, at the bottom of the worksheet, you'll see a heat map with days of the week and vehicle miles traveled. The darker colors indicate a higher number of vehicle miles traveled. This is a useful tool for knowing which days there are more employees in the office and planning telework days. Next, we'll move on to the performance scorecard using the tabs at the top of the workbook to navigate. In the network scorecard, you'll see an overview of the benefits you offer versus your network and also compared to your industry. The bars below indicate the total percentage within a network or within an industry that are currently offering individual benefits. Hover over the icon to see specifics on what your worksite answered in the program report about each individual benefit. Blue checks indicate that you're currently offering that benefit. X's means you're not currently offering it. The yellow check mark indicates a grouping of text questions. To find out more information about what was answered, just hover over the yellow X and you'll see the text response provided. Lastly, on the network scorecard, you may notice that there are some empty spaces under the network or industry. This indicates that no one within your network or industry answered that they currently offer those benefits. And this concludes our walk through the CTR Tableau Performance Workbook. If you have any questions or need help troubleshooting, please feel free to email us at ctr at commuteseattle.com.